Greetings. Uh, so it's a pretty hot day out and I want something refreshing. And luckily I bought something that might be refreshing. So as some of you may know from past videos or from knowing me, I'm a huge fan of Crystal Pepsi. Not Crystal from Pepsi, the citrus bullshit they released after, but the early 90s Crystal Pepsi loved it. So I was really happy when they brought it back, what was it, one year, two years ago? and I could find it fairly easily at like sheets and stuff and I just bought those and I bought some overpriced bottles off of Amazon as well so I'd have them. And then after it was discontinued again, which fucking sucks because one, I want it to be back permanently because it's awesome. And two, I wanted it to be available in like two or three liter bottles and not just the, the single serving uh, 20 ounce ones that they sold. But after it was discontinued, Sheets at least continued to have a Crystal Pepsi Icy for like another year, year and a half, and that was awesome, but now that's gone too. So Crystal Pepsi's gone, and uh, I always found it delicious to be cola flavored, but have a little bit of like almost a lemon tinge to it because it had citric acid as well as phosphoric acid. Uh, phosphoric acid causes kidney stones, so I don't drink a lot of cola, even though I love the taste of cola. Uh, citric acid uh, inhibits the production, so I was hoping those two would cancel each other out. They probably didn't, I probably got a bunch of kidney stones when Crystal Pepsi came back. But regardless, um, Crystal Pepsi is uh, still discontinued as uh, currently. Um, Pepsi doesn't seem to have any um, uh, plans to bring it back permanently. I'm able to do some more limited uh, edition ones. And I can still buy some of the slightly older bottles, but are still drinkable bottles from 2015 or 2017 uh, on eBay and stuff if I wanted to pay a little extra. But I'd still love to be able to get it readily available. I mean, even when it was released in stores, Sheets was the only store down here that I could find it in. I guess it was another gas station, too, that um, one of the other managers, uh, Steph, who I used to work with at the theater, had gotten me a couple of bottles when she saw it. But I couldn't just walk into, like, a normal supermarket and find it, so that sucked. So anyway, um, since I re review sodas, and I try, I love to try different sodas, I go to Rocket Fizz a lot and stuff, and I review them on YouTube, uh, I was looking on eBay one day to see if they were any fun Japanese sodas. Now, buying sodas from Japan, they're always overpriced because they got to be shipped from Japan. They always have to pay for the shipping, so it ends up being like five or six bucks for what should be like a dollar twenty-five bottle of soda. Uh, so that part of it sucks. But I still wanted to see if there are any kooky uh, soda flavors that Japan was getting that we weren't, because Japan gets all the cool sodas and we get fucking shafted with limited edition bullshit. And I saw that up for pre-order, but not being released yet, was something called Coca-Cola Clear, and I was like. Is this the Coke version of Crystal Pepsi? Or is it going to be like a citrus crystal from Pepsi? So I was a little reticent on that, but I was intrigued. And then uh, my favorite YouTuber uh, is a guy named Brad Jones. Uh, he is sort of like, he does everything I do on YouTube, but better and he's funnier and more talented than I am. So he does a lot of taste testing of sodas and stuff. He reviews movies. Uh, he makes his own movies. He's a short, bald, glasses-wearing uh, guy with a goatee. Uh, so, so he's pretty much the better version of me. Which is odd because I didn't even know who this guy was until maybe a year ago. I, I just became a fan of this guy. So I, it was like I was ripping him off without even being aware of his existence. So now I found this guy who's very similar to me. I'm a huge fan of his. And I recently uh, donated some money to his Indiegogo for um, a, a sequel to the Cinema Snob movie. I'm going to be an associate producer. I have an IMDb page. Sweet. Anyway, um, he tried Coca-Cola Clear on his own Brad Tries channel. And he said it, it was good. It was basically cola flavored with a little bit of lemon, which is what I was hoping for. So along the Crystal Pepsi way. So I'm like, all right, I got to shell off the extra money, uh, the overpriced money to buy this from Japan. So I ended up buying two bottles of uh, Coca-Cola Clear. Coca-Cola Clear, everybody. Yes. And um, the one uh, warning sign for me is that it has uh, zero calories, indicating it is sugar-free. Now, Coca-Cola has, in the U.S., has basically two major diet sodas. It has Diet Coke, which is fucking disgusting, and it has uh, Coke Zero, or as they've rebranded it, uh, Coke Zero Sugar, because that was a fucking necessary rebrand, which is... Slightly less disgusting. Basically, at first it starts to taste like regular Coke, and then it has, like, a really bad um, aftertaste of, like, that fake sugar substitute, just because I've never tasted a sugar substitute that wasn't disgusting. Um, the only diet soda that doesn't have sugar that I'm able to kind of tolerate is Diet Mountain Dew. That, for some reason, whatever flavors in it masks that it's uh, fake sugar for a little bit, so I can actually tolerate that. 
but any other diet soda I'm not a fan of, so I'm worried that I'm going to hate this for the fake sugar. Um, I don't know what acid it has in it or anything like that, because aside from the words Coca-Cola and Clear, which they decided to put in English for some reason, everything else on this label, um, aside from like the words yes and no and some other weird shit, are uh, Japanese characters. So I got like 100 milliliters, zero grams, uh, there's like a weird like yes, no about like underneath the recycling thing, but otherwise I don't know any of the fucking ingredients in here. Um, I guess it doesn't have high fructose corn syrup if it's uh, zero calorie, but I don't know if it's de dextrose or sucralose or whatever. Uh, I don't know if it's only citric acid or if it's phosphoric acid. I only have two bottles, so if these give me Japanese kidney stones, I don't know. But I'm very much uh, looking forward to trying this, though. So, also, it's always weird uh, to buy a soda on eBay. You're, you're, you're always wondering, like, oh, was it poisoned or whatever? So you start to, like feel the bottle, see if anyone's injected any, like, roofies or anthrax in it or anything. I mean, I bought it from a guy in Hawaii who apparently either got it from Japan and moved it over, or they have relatives, or whatever. Because uh, that's much closer to Japan than I am on the east coast of the United States. Um, but really looking forward, and, you know, it didn't shatter in the mail or anything like that. Is there, <laughs> I mean, besides the price, uh, the safety issue... Uh, and all that stuff. I, I just, this is the first time I've actually bought a Japanese soda from like a private seller or anything. Normally I might get like ramen from a store, a store will sell Japanese stuff like the green tea Kit Kats that are awesome. They sell those occasionally in stores around here. Lolly and Pops, Rocket Fizz, the Asian market down the road from me. How's it smell? Ooh, I like that. It smells quite a bit like Crystal Pepsi actually. Yeah, like if you if you if you blindfolded me and stuck this bottle under my nose and told me what does it smell like, I would think you were giving me a bottle of delicious Crystal Pepsi. So um, still carbonated, so that's good. It uh, carbonation survived. I mean, this was just released and everything, but ah, I'm very much looking forward to this. I hope I'm not disappointed. Uh, Coca Cola Clear from Japan, down the hatch. Hmm, had to get a couple swigs in there to properly assess it. Okay, so. You can tell that it doesn't have regular sugar in it. But it's by no means disgusting or anything. It's actually quite good. Um, but you can you can tell it's, it's fake sugar. Um, so in that sense... It sort of succeeds where Coke Zero fails, where Coke Zero, or Zero Sugar, emulates the taste of regular Coke as a diet beverage better than Diet Coke, which just tastes like watered-down, like, trash water. Um, <laughs> but this one actually tastes closer to regular Coke than uh, Coke Zero does to regular Coke, I would say. Um, but it also, it basically tastes like if you made, like, Crystal Pepsi Zero, is basically what I would describe this as tasting like. So, in that sense, it's good. Like, the first swig I took of this, my brain told me it's Crystal Pepsi. And then, you get the aftertaste that fake sugar or zero-calorie drinks with fake sugar give you. Or at least they give me. Um, so, I'm ba it basically tastes like it's a diet version of Crystal Pepsi. Now, there was a diet version of Crystal Pepsi that came out in the early 90s, but since I didn't drink diet sodas... I never had that, but this probably tastes more like some alternate universe where there's a Crystal Pepsi Zero or a Crystal Pepsi Zero Sugar or something. Um, it's it goes down very smooth. Phrasing. Um, I'm trying to decide if it has more or less carbonation than either Crystal Pepsi or regular Coke. And again, I don't drink very regular Coke very often at all. Um, because of the kidney stone issue. I've had more Coke Ices in the last few years because I worked at a movie theater that had Coke Ices than I have for actual Coke. 
uh, and if I'm going to splurge and take a risk on a kidney stone and drink Coke, I'm going to drink a vanilla Coke because that's my favorite of the American widely available Coke brands. Hmm. My initial reaction to the carbonation and Carl's meowing in the background is that it's, um, it's equal or more carbonated, but the carbonation fizzes out faster. Like, when it hits my tongue, it immediately, like, bubbles up like carbonated beverage, but then it almost dies down. Not to, like, flat, or it never tastes flat, but it seems like the, the bubbles, like, spark and then evaporate, which is kind of odd, because I don't remember ever having that feeling from any soda before, and maybe that's from the length of shipping, maybe uh, Japan carbonates water in a different way, a different PSI level, I don't know. So that's weird. Um, yeah, um, the one downside is the fake sugar and the aftertaste of fake sugar. Like, I wish they didn't release this as a zero-calorie drink. I wish they had just gone ahead and put fucking sugar in it, either cane sugar or corn syrup or something. But otherwise, it basically tastes like a diet version or a Coke Zero version of Crystal Pepsi. Like, if Coke Zero decided to have a baby with Crystal Pepsi, this is what the baby would be. And it's it's weird that the Coke in the on the label is not clear, though. It, hmm. But yeah, I mean, I'm glad I only have two bottles because I don't think I'd drink as much of this as I would Crystal Pepsi because it is the fake sugar taste. And in large doses, that ends up disgusting me. Like, even now, the aftertaste is getting to be a little too much from the fake sugar. Um, but otherwise, the taste is there for, like, a Crystal Pepsi. So the fact that Coca-Cola has replicated Crystal Pepsi taste, but they made it zero calories, is kind of interesting. Like, I wish they made a non... I wish they made just a regular sugared or corn syrup version of Coca-Cola Clear. Um, but then again, I also just wish uh, Crystal Pepsi were widely available. Like, um, I mean, making it zero calorie with Clear kind of plays on the fact that in the early 90s, uh, Pepsi was trying to market uh, Crystal Pepsi as if it were like a healthier alternative. It's not. Uh, but it was like, hey, if we take the color out, it's the caramel color that makes soda bad for you. Uh, if it's clear, that's perfectly healthy. And maybe kind of sort of on the kidney stone issue, maybe they are, but probably not really because the uh, phosphoric acid is still in there. But um, it's like Coke is like trying to say like, okay, well, if we make it a diet beverage, then the clear thing kind of fits with it being better for you, quote-unquote, but, I mean, if you want a clear beverage that's good for you, you just drink fucking water. Um, so I, I would prefer if Coca-Cola, if they were going to just rip off Crystal Pepsi, uh, that they would put sugar in the fucking thing. Um, but, uh, but, I mean, as it is, as someone who hasn't had Crystal Pepsi in a year or more because it's discontinued again, um, it's nice to taste this. It's, um... It's a Japanese soda that at least tasted the way I kind of wanted it to, albeit with the, the bad aftertaste of fake sugar. But, I mean, I have uh, one full bottle left, and I have, like, half of this bottle left. And, um, yeah. If it sounds like something you want to try, if you're a fan of Coke Zero, but you want Crystal Pepsi taste, it's for you. Um, if you're just missing Crystal Pepsi and you want a lark, or you want to take a risk on buying a Japanese soda that you know you, you kind of have a better idea of what it tastes like if you have Crystal Pepsi before, give it a try. I mean, I don't regret buying it. I'm glad I tasted it. It's, um, it's pretty good. You can check it out. Uh, you'll find it on eBay or some Japanese, uh, internet, like, wholesalers. Coca-Cola Clear.